What's going on guys, Dorko back again, hope you are fantastic today and welcome back to another sister location theory. Now, I've got a really interesting one for you guys today and it's basically the collapse of William Afton altogether. His character, his personality, um, his mind. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy this one because I think it's really interesting. It's basically about the story of William Afton, how he created these animatronics designed to kill kids, um, but basically all of his children just got completely wrecked, basically. And he lost his mind, he became really, really guilty. And we see in the FNAF 3 mini games, maybe this story on why he's scrapping the animatronics, because we don't really know why he's doing that in the first place. Why is he destroying the animatronics for no reason? This theory kind of validates the fact that it could possibly be guilt. He's trying to erase all of what he's done in the past of creating these killer animatronics and wants to scrap them. Obviously, that doesn't work, and then he becomes Springtrap. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this theory. Let me know in the comment section down below whether you like this or not, and if you guys have got any more ideas as well. Now, I've got another theory coming up soon about the character Henry. Now, if you guys know Henry, he is the uh, the side owner of Fred Bear's Family Diner. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's The Silver Eyes talks about the story about William Afton and Henry. Now, Henry was the creator of the animatronics, and William Afton was the finance guy. He worked with the money. He was more of the business advertising guy. He didn't create the animatronics. Interestingly enough, though, William Afton is creating these animatronics in the um, in the game side, but we know that Scott said that the book could be in a different dimension, so it's kind of difficult to make. Talking about the book, linking with the game, it's quite difficult to say because Scott said on Steam um, that the the nov the novel uh, is set in a different universe, like a dimension, but it still holds some of the story together. I'm going to talk more about Henry in a different video, guys, in more detail, how this could link with Sister Location. So we all know uh, from the blueprints in Sister Location that these robots were designed by William Afton. We don't know whether they were originally just normal animatronics and then he's um, copied the animatronics, possibly, added on the killer idea. So let's say in Baby's Pizza World, Baby was just not a normal animatronic, he stole it, and he's modded it, you know, having the killer hook inside its belly um, and Funtime Freddy's stomach made bigger, etc. Modified the old animatronics to be killers. But anyway, he makes them killer animatronics. And he tells his daughter to simply stay away because, you know, it's his daughter. He cares about his daughter and he doesn't want his daughter or family members near the animatronics because he knows if she's on her own, she will die. Sadly, she does die. Irony at its finest, and karma as well. Don't you think it's just sweet, sweet karma for William Afton? I'm not, I feel sorry for the child, but I don't feel sorry for, sorry for Afton. He's made these killer animatronics to kill, you know, parents, kids. But ironically, his child died from it. Because of that, it becomes completely, I mean completely insane, and overprotective on his other children, which is the crying child. He tries to protect the family for this never to happen again because he kept his eyes off the daughter and she died. So in theory, don't keep your eyes off any of your kids. My kids, I'm gonna keep an eye on them 24 seven so they stay away from these animatronics. For example, the cameras in the child's room is an obvious one. That means he can keep an eye on them when he's at work. Simple as that. I think the secret room is William Afton's office, 100%. That's where he works, and he keeps an eye on his children with the cameras. Also, obviously, the Fredbear plush. Um, I believe he put the walkie-talkie in Fredbear to keep an eye on his child when he's outside the house. He can't, he can't put a GoPro on the kid's face. He'd know that he's spying on him. And he can't, like, follow him around all the time because he needs to work. And 
the only time you can have to, uh, watch him through vision is through the cameras in the room. You can't just follow him with a camera everywhere he goes, which is why he uses speech. The Fredbear walkie-talkie is given to the child so he can be looking after him while he's going around to places, especially the pizzeria. It's a perfect example, folks. When the crying child goes into the pizzeria, the Fredbear plushie warns him all the time, constantly, stay away, don't you remember what you saw? You need to stay away from the animatronics, you need to stay away from the people in suits, you need to stay away completely, or you're gonna die. And I think that's a perfect example, because, don't you remember what you saw? Maybe the child did witness his sister dying or something, or he's just trying to be protective about his son, staying away from the animatronics, but ironically, the older brother kills him. So how ironic is that is now two of his children are now dead. We don't know when FNAF 4 takes place. Obviously the hints are to do with 1983 because of the key code. Um, but if we are playing as the older brother in sister location, which I think we are possibly, but I'll, I've got another theory in a second. I don't think we're playing as William Afton, 100%. I do not think we're playing as William Afton now. I feel like we're playing as like um, the brother or William Afton's older son. Um, that could still make sense because we don't know when the older brother is like this in FNAF 4 in the mini games. Uh, we always see him wear a mask as well, which is interesting. Maybe he's hiding his endoskeleton inside, but that's that depends on when Sister Location is set. If it's before the FNAF 4 events, then it's kind of iffy because like the older brother's just hiding inside a mask and bullying kids. I don't think that would really make sense, but if it's after, if, if Sister Location is after FNAF 4, that would kind of make more sense because um, the older brother like feels bad for killing his kid and he doesn't know where his sister is, so now he feels even more guilty, so the guilt has made him investigate the Sister Location underground facility. Like I said, there's so many things what can backfire this. Like I said, the timeline, we need to know when Sister Location is. It's definitely in the 80s. Um, is the 1983 code representing where we are at this moment in Sister Location, the underground facility? Or is it supposed to represent when the FNAF 4 uh, minigame timeline is? Uh, it's, it's complicated, and once again, Scott Good, does give us information, but we need to answer it for ourselves. But I definitely think the first theory about Will, the karma of William Afton's uh, choices of making killer animatronics and then becoming uh, completely insane and overprotective uh, works a lot better than um, Henry investigating sister location. However, I do want to repeat myself, folks. Um, the map of sister location 100% confirms that the mini game house with the crying child, the old older brother, and the sister's room is a completely different house than the FNAF 4 game. 100%. So why is that? Why? I want you guys to think about that. So yeah, to sum up guys, um, the karma of William Afton. William Afton makes the animatronics, tells his daughter to stay away. She dies. Uh, he becomes completely insane, he becomes a protective father, installs cameras in the house to keep an eye on his, uh, on his son, um, and also uh, the walkie-talkie in Fredbear to keep an eye on his son when he's outside the house, and then, but they all die, he becomes insane, uh, he got, I don't know where he's gone, um, he's gone somewhere in Sister Location, the game, because I don't think we're playing as William Afton in the game, I think we're playing as someone else, like William Afton's older brother, William Afton's son, the older brother, and then he gets scooped. So basically, all of his children just die. Every single one of his children die. So maybe he becomes insane, he becomes delusional, he's filled with guilt, like, oh God, what have I done, what have I done? It's all my fault, I've killed my only children, now I'm all alone. Um, okay, let's try and try and fix this. Okay, right, right. Let's go back to the older locations. Let's sort this out. I'm going to go back to the old locations and rip them apart and just fix everything. I know I feel so guilty, so, so guilty. I'm so sorry I've done this to all you little kids. I'm really, really sorry. Obviously, that doesn't work. He does go back and tries to scrap the animatronics. Maybe it's the, reason, the obvious reason is for guilt or something else, which we don't know yet. 
Um, he fails, he gets turned into spring trap, and that's it. Okay, let me know what you guys think about this. Um, whether you believe in William Afton being overprotective. Or let me know your thoughts on the interesting one about Henry, uh, the other partner of the original Fredbear's family diner. Because we know that these companies seem to be split. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and the baby line, like Baby's Pizza World, they do seem to be separate. Uh, hand unit says Freddy Fazbear's Pizza has closed down, we're so much better. So they are definitely divided, but how come they're linked at the same time with the map? It's interesting, isn't it? It's, it's really, really interesting. So maybe Henry owns Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and William Afton owns this is the location side to it. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think. It is really interesting. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.